It is finally here. The 2020 MLB World Series. We got the team in the American League. We got the team in the National League. We know what the matchup is. The series is all been waiting for. We finally got it. And we have a really, really, really good World Series matchup. We have the best team in the American League, the Tampa Bay Rays, going up against the best team in the National League, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Who would have thought with this crazy 60-game season, coronavirus, 16 teams in the playoffs, that it would just end up being the two best teams that go up against each other. Hopefully, Rob Manfred doesn't think that means that this is a good playoff format because it's not. But I gotta say, the season went somewhat flawlessly. Despite having the coronavirus outbreaks with two different teams, they still made it to the end. And a lot of people seemed like they were rooting against it somehow. Apparent baseball fans. But we made it. Dodgers, Rays, I'm here to give you the breakdown on the series, who I think is going to win, the advantages in each position, and try to give you as much information so you can watch this series, have some knowledge, and know what's going on. So as always, if you guys do enjoy these videos, you like to see them on the channel, the best way to help support me is by dropping a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you enjoy the content. If you love baseball, click that sub button, join the team. Remember to get in the comment section down below. Let me know who you think is going to win the World Series as well as who you think is going to be the World Series MVP. I'll be giving my predictions in today's video. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and the second channel. Links, as always, are in the description. So I've mentioned already, Tampa Bay Rays, best team in the American League. Predicted them right in my previous video and my preseason predictions. Going up against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Without a doubt, the best team in baseball and the best team in the National League. Let's start off, as always, by talking about the pitching because to me, pitching is always going to be the most important. And in this series, it's going to be really, really important. Not that it hasn't been important in any other series, but, but this series in particular, it's going to be very important. The pitching is going to be key. So for the Los Angeles Dodgers, they've got a great rotation, just like the Tampa Bay Rays. So let's start off with the Dodgers. You got Clayton Kershaw, who in the playoffs, not great, above four ERA, and he's had over 170 innings pitched. So it's obvious that he does struggle a bit more in the playoffs than he does in the regular season. Walker Buehler, who's been struggling with the blister, but has looked pretty good. You've got Julio Urias, who can make a start. You got Tony Gonsolin. You got Dustin May. The starting pitching for the Dodgers is very strong, but there have been times where it's looked a little shaky. Tony Gonsolin has not looked good in the postseason. I mean, Kershaw has been okay. Bueller, though, nasty. Urias, nasty. Dustin May, nasty. Still very strong. Going up against the Tampa Bay Rays, who have some arms. Let's be honest. Charlie Morton, unbelievable in the postseason. Fantastic. Blake Snell has looked strong in some of the games. He pitched well against the Astros in the ALCS, just he got pulled early by Kevin Cash. Didn't work out that time. Worked well with Charlie Morton. You got Tyler Glass now, who's got some of the nastiest stuff in the league. He has an opportunity every Every single time he goes out there to just be unhittable. Ryan Yarbrough, he might not be my most favorite option out of the starting rotation for the Rays, but even still, that left-handed arm, not bad, especially for the lefties in the Dodgers lineup. Cody Bellinger, Max Muncie, Corey Seager, Jock Peterson can definitely do some damage. And then of course, you're going to have like that reliever day where you got maybe a John Curtis, a Ryan Thompson, somebody starting, but we'll really just consider those top four. Overall, I think you have to give the slight edge in the starting pitching department to the Los Angeles Dodgers. I think they just have more guys that are going to eat more innings, pitch deeper into games, and are probably going to have a more consistent outcome. Now, their top three, I don't think compares with the Rays' top three, but the entire rotation in total, I think the Dodgers do have a slight edge as they do have five legitimate starting pitchers where the Rays have four and Ryan Yarbrough is not necessarily the strongest of the four. Now we move on to the bullpen where it's a little bit of a different story. The Dodgers do have good arms out there. You got guys like Blake Trinan, Pedro Baez, Victor Gonzalez, Henley Jansen, Dylan Floro, Joe Kelly, Jake McGee, Adam Kalarik, Alex Wood. I mean, they got a lot of arms out there, but they've been a little bit shaky in the postseason. Haven't been as smooth as you would like. Still, they got good arms they got good players. As for the Rays though, the Rays bullpen, that is the strength of their team without a doubt. That is what they are built around. They are built around their bullpen. And if their bullpen pitches well like it did in the ALCS, like it did in the ALDS, that is going to help them be successful in this World Series and give them the best chance to win. Diego Castillo was lights out. Nick Anderson gave up a couple homers, but for the most part pitched in some really big moments and got the job done. Pete Fairbanks. Peter Fairbanks has been fantastic for the Rays. Huge for them. Ryan Thompson, John Curtis, Jose Alvarado, Aaron Luke, Fleming, Sleegers. Whoever they decide to throw out there is going to give them a legitimate chance to win, help them keep that lead close, or help them stay close in the game, or help them hold on to that lead. The Rays bullpen has been fantastic for them. Really, really good. Kevin Cash is going to use them, and the day off, I can't stress this enough, the day off in between games now is going to be huge for the Rays, and the Dodgers too. I mean, it's going to help them as well, but the Rays particularly, because they do use a lot of arms. In this department, I have to give the advantage to the Rays here. Their bullpen just is superior to the Dodgers, but overall, pitching-wise, they're pretty even. These teams, it's going to be very close. Now, let's talk about the positions, starting it off with the catching position. My favorite position position in all of baseball. For the Dodgers, you've got Austin Barnes and Will Smith going up against Mike Zanino and Michael Perez. Now, Mike Zanino actually had a really good ALCS, hit a couple of homers, some big at-bats for them. I think in the postseason, the eight and nine spot have drove in like 15 runs for the Rays in the postseason, and that's due to the fact of Mike Zanino, Michael Perez, they've been hitting homers, mostly defensive catchers, but they have gotten some offensive production out of these guys. That being said, you have a defensive catcher in Austin Barnes, and Will Smith isn't too bad, and then you've also got Will Smith, who's just by and large better offensively than any catcher in this entire series. Overall, 
overall, while I think the Dodgers have the better catching core, the Rays catching is going to help them do what they need to do. And that is be defensive and control the pitchers and maybe hit the long ball when they need it. Still though, I'm going to give the slight edge to the Dodgers. They just got the better players there. First base now, you've got Mike Brasso, G-Man Choi going up against Max Muncy for the Dodgers. And as much as I love G-Man Choi and Mike Brasso, it's weird because again, comparing those players to Max Muncy, you have Max Muncy who can play against both sides. G-Man plays against the righties, Brasso against the lefties. Even Yandy Diaz plays a little bit of first base. Like the Rays are going to play the matchup. But when you look at the players on paper, of course you're going to choose Max Muncy. He is the better player than any of the guys the Rays have. But when you look at Brasso against lefties, when you look at Yandy Diaz against lefties, when you look at G-Man against righties, it's a lot closer than you think. That being said, slight edge to the Los Angeles Dodgers, even if Max Muncy is struggling a little bit. And the dude does have a track record of being pretty good in the postseason. So as much as I love G-Man Choi, Yandy, Brasso, I think they're a better matchup. Max Muncy is the better player. Slightest advantage, maybe even a push, honestly. Second base for the Dodgers, you're going to go with Kike Hernandez, Chris Taylor, who are very good players. You get some power with Kike, you get a little consistency at the plate and the glove in the field with Chris Taylor. Going up against Brandon Lau, who has been pretty horrible in the postseason. I just can't pick Brandon Lau right now. He's looked horrible at the plate, just looks completely lost. Hopefully these days off can help him clear his mind because when he's on, Brandon Lau is one of the best hitting second basemen in the league. He just hasn't been on at all this postseason. He's been terrible. So yes, I'm going to give the slight advantage to the Dodgers here again. Shortstop, Corey Seager, the Dodgers going up against Willie Adamez. I love me some Willie Adamez. Great glove, but at the plate, hasn't been great this postseason and in total just isn't nearly the hitter that Corey Seager is. So you get the advantage fielding wise with Willie Adamez over Corey Seager, but you get the advantage hitting wise with Corey. Willie Adamez with the Rays is a perfect fit because he's going to get to every ball. He's going to make great plays and that's what they need. They're going to score a few runs. They're going to score four or five a game and they're going to try to keep you under that where the Dodgers are going to try to outslug you a lot of times. So for each of these guys, it works in each position. That being said, Corey Seager, he had a crazy postseason. He's been unbelievable. I got to give the Dodgers the advantage there. And it pains me to say this because it just seems like this is completely in the Dodgers favor, but this is how it's supposed to be. This is how the Rays roster is built versus the Dodgers. The Dodgers have the big names. They have the big players. The Rays play the smart baseball. They play the matchups. I'll continue on though, before I tell you who's going to win. Third base, Joey Wendell, maybe Yandy if he's feeling okay. Maybe Mike Brasso if he's feeling it. Going up against Justin Turner. And again, I'm going to pick the Dodgers with the advantage here. Justin Turner is better than the players than I listed, but Joey Wendell played fantastic defense at third base the past series. Made huge plays for the Rays to bail them out of innings, turning double plays. I mean, really big stuff. Didn't hit very well, but big plays. Justin Turner though, hits extremely well in the postseason. All the guy does is hit. Pains me as a Mets fan to see him just haunt us. All he does is hit. And he plays a pretty good defensive third base as well. So yes, the Dodgers get the advantage at third, taking every single infield spot. Yeah, that's the Dodgers. And then the outfield, left field, you're looking at AJ Pollock, Jock Peterson, that platoon going up against Randy Arozarena. Yeah, you're not beating Randy this time, Dodgers. We are taking the Rays. Randy Arozarena is the hottest player in Major League Baseball. He's better than your favorite player. That's a fact. Mike Trout, who? Going to be rocking a Randy Arozarena jersey at the World Series win on America game one. He's just been unbelievable, unstoppable, scalding hot. And I think it continues in the World Series. You're going to see this guy just taking daddy hacks at the plate. He's going to be hitting the long ball, running the bases, playing the outfield. A Rosarena gets the advantage in left field over Pollock and Peterson, who are both very good players. And of course, destroy their platoons. Pollock destroys lefties, Peterson destroys righties. And you also get like another center fielder with AJ Pollock and left. Both these teams defensively in the outfield are phenomenal. Center field, Cody Bellinger for the Los Angeles Dodgers. A really good player, arguably top 10 in the league. Going up against Kevin Kiermaier. Manuel Margo, whoever you want to throw out there. Probably Kiermaier though. I got to give the advantage to Cody Bellinger. His defense isn't as good as Kevin Kiermaier's, but it's real close and his bat is just significantly better. While Kevin Kiermaier could maybe get a hold of one, hit a home run. He's got the speed. Cody Bellinger will get a hold of one. Plays really good defense, has a great arm. He is a little worse than Kiermaier defensively, but at the plate, he's just so much better. So I have to go with Cody Bellinger and the Dodgers. And then in right field, again, a little Manuel Margo, a little Austin Meadows, a little Hunter Renfro for the Rays going up against Mookie Betts. And I mean, you heard the guy's name. It's Mookie Betts. He's the second best player in baseball. You can't pick against Mookie Betts and the Dodgers there. Another advantage for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Austin Meadows could heat up. Hunter Renfro could heat up. Destroys left-handed pitching. Meadows destroys right-handed pitching. That being said though, you're going up against Mookie and I already told you he's the second best player in baseball. I can't pick against them. And the last and final position, the DH. Dodgers, whoever you can think of on their bench, Edwin Rios. You got Beatty, Beatty, whatever his name is. Maybe you're going to play Kike. Maybe you're going to play Muncie there. Maybe you're going to play this guy, that guy, Will Smith. I don't know. They got a lot of different options. And the Rays, same thing. They have a ton of different options. Austin Meadows, Yandy, whoever it's going to be. I think I'm going to give the slight advantage here to the Rays. I like the idea of Austin Meadows being able to be the DH. I'm not crazy about him in the outfield. Same thing with Yandy. He hasn't been moving a lot. He'll play the platoon there. And Rios hits a ton of homers. That being said, so do the guys that the Rays have. I don't know. I just need to give the Rays the advantage somewhere. Slight advantage. You know what? It's not even an advantage. It's a push at DH. Whoever they put out there, they're both going to be good. And then the last and I guess final thing to talk about is the managers. Kevin Cash going up against Dave Roberts. Now I know a lot of people say Dave Roberts, oh, he makes some terrible decisions. I don't think he's that bad of a manager. I think he's a really good manager, actually. That being said, Kevin Cash is the best manager in baseball. We saw that evident in the ALCS. While he made so 
some mistakes. He made a lot of incredibly gutsy calls, incredibly gutsy decisions that ended up working out. The dude is always thinking. He plays the matchups. He doesn't think with his heart. He thinks with his head. And that is something that managers need to start doing more. Think with your head, not your heart. Kevin Cash, best manager in baseball. Rays get a huge advantage there. So now that I told you the advantages and disadvantages of every single team, my predictions, World Series MVP, what's it going to be? I think it's going to be an incredible series. I think every game is going to be really, really close. And I'm so excited that we get to watch it. I'm going to be there. It's going to be awesome. The Dodgers are the best team in baseball. The Rays are the best team in the American League. While I gave the Dodgers all the advantages in this video, I mean a ton, it doesn't mean that they are the by and large favorites over the Rays. Do not count out Tampa Bay. They play smart baseball. They're going to play the matchups. They put themselves in the best position to win every single game possible, and you can't discount that. I truly think the Dodgers have a better chance to win the World Series than the Tampa Bay Rays, but that being said, this isn't who's going to win on paper. This is who I think is going to win. This is my prediction, and I am sticking with the Tampa Bay Rays. Yes, I picked the Mets in the preseason, but I had the Rays in the World Series, and when the postseason came around, the Rays were my pick. I'm sticking with it. Your 2020 World Series champions, in my eyes, is going to be the Tampa Bay Rays. I think the Rays bring it home. I think they have a fantastic season, and they end up beating the Los Angeles Dodgers. They're going to outsmart them. They're going to play the matchups. They're going to step up, and they're going to win. World Series MVP? Gotta go Randy Arozarena. You know I am going nowhere else but Randy Arozarena for the World Series MVP. Seven game series. The Rays are going to win it four to three. It's going to go back and forth. I cannot wait to watch this baseball. It's going to be fantastic. The last games of the Major League Baseball season in 2020 are here, and you can't miss them. This is must-watch baseball, no matter who you're a fan of. Yankees, Mets, Giants, Dodgers, Rays, Raves. This is a series you gotta watch. It's gonna be fantastic, and I hope you do watch it. It's gonna be fun. So I'd love to know who you guys think is gonna win the World Series, as well as the World Series MVP down in the comment section below. Of course, I'm going Rays and Randy or Rosarena. We're riding that train all the way to the finish, but let me know what you think down below. Remember, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it, as well as subscribe to the channel if you're new and you enjoy the content. Drop me a follow on Twitter, Instagram, second channel. There's gonna be so much content going up on Twitter and Instagram the next few days while I'm at the World Series, so make sure you don't miss that. And there's gonna be a vlog, of course, on this channel. Otherwise, I gotta make some videos for while I'm away, because it's gonna be for quite a while, and I gotta prepare for this World Series. It's gonna be great. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video, as well as this is my most recent upload, so click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Bye!